Hello everyone and welcome back to Cat's Coils. video I'm super excited to share with you guys my one and a half year DIY micro locks update. I'm excited about this update because I can't believe how close I am to being locked for two years. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been continuing to support um, the channel. I have officially reached 2,000 subscribers and as of my 2,000 mark I am going to be doing a giveaway. Yay! Yes, I am partnering with Voice of Hair for this amazing giveaway. And oh my gosh, you guys really want to be a part of this giveaway. So in order to um, be qualified for the giveaway, um, all you have to do is subscribe to Cats Coils here on YouTube and subscribe to Cats Coils on Instagram. And just comment on either or with the pink sparkly heart and uh, just tell me something about your locks and just let me know um, something that you love about your locks or just, you know, give some encouraging words, okay? So that's all you have to do. I will be posting a video on Instagram wearing this shirt. That's how you will know, you know, which uh, post to comment under. But yeah, just uh, subscribe to both channels and, well, this channel and my Instagram page. And just share a comment with a pink sparkly heart that lets me know that you're entering yourself into the giveaway. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my one and a half year update. So the very first thing I want to say is lately I've been noticing that I've been having to retie my hair just a little sooner um, than usual and in only certain areas. And if you've been following me on Instagram, we've already had this discussion and we've been talking about it in my most recent post because it's an issue. Everybody has an issue with um, their roots kind of doing their own thing, becoming unruly. And sometimes we just need to go ahead and tackle that. So that's one thing that I've been doing is just tackling my unruly roots. I've been washing my hair a little more often these days. So I wash my hair about uh, every two weeks and that just keeps my hair nice and light and fluffy. And it's also encouraging my hair to lock a lot sooner. Um, I've noticed that my shrinkage is just staying, like my hair is staying right here at shoulder length. And it is because one, I have 4C really tightly coiled hair. And so my hair is just saying, look, before we start growing downward, we are going to shrink until there's no more shrinking left to do. So let's move on to my twist pattern. I'm just gonna do a close up and I'm gonna let you guys see what my twist pattern is looking like. So right away, I can tell that my twisted hair is definitely more frizzy and um, is losing its pattern. In some locks, you cannot see a twist pattern at all if you look closely. But um, because I know I started my locks with twist, I can definitely still see my twist pattern. But um, it becomes more faint each time I do an update. But here's my line of demarcation. I always like to show you guys um, where that is. And as you can see, my line of demarcation is pretty much at half point and it's almost more there's more locked interlocked hair than there is twisted hair and that baffles my mind because I know my hair was pretty long when I started my locks journey but because I have 4C hair my hair just shrinks and um yeah so this is what my twist pattern is looking like I just love talking about my line of demarcation because I embrace the texture difference. Like I love seeing where my hair started, like where the journey started and seeing kind of where it is now. Let's move on to the next topic. And that is the topic of combining my locks. Now I do have a couple locks that are a little weak at the roots and I am considering combining them. It's okay that if you feel like you need to combine a couple locks, go ahead and do it. Cause I would rather combine two locks into one and keep the, all that hair versus losing a lock. 
have been considering combining a couple of my locks and I will share with you guys in a future video those locks that I do plan on combining. Next, let's talk about the alopecia spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in. All right, so this alopecia spot has just been my struggle spot since the beginning of my locks journey. As you guys can see, I have a few new spots and um, the hair that has grown in is looking a little thin. I've got some starter locks in those areas, but if you can see in the surrounding areas, there are some very thin spots and there's like one spot that is pretty much completely bald. So yeah, it's just a struggle spot for me and uh, that's why I call it the spot because literally some months, there's, there's that spot right there behind that lock that I'm touching. There's like a whole spot there that literally there's no hair. So yeah, I literally just did an alopecia spot video just talking about how good my hair, my spot is doing. But as you can see, it is having some struggles. So this is my grid at the moment. Um, I did just do a retie um, just last week. And when this video was recorded, the retie was about a few days old. So as you can see, my grid is looking really nice. And um, I, I've said in previous videos that I do not um, interlock my hair tightly because of the issue that I've had with alopecia and so I try my best not to have really tight interlocking sessions it took me about a week to complete this retie um, actually a week and a half and so the hair in the back is not as tight as the hair in the front because I always start in the back of my hair with my reties so my grid is pretty much intact all over my head um, as you can see here uh, the parts are really nice and neat i still have nice squares um, the only area in my head where i don't have neat parting is in the spot where the alopecia is and that is understandable as you can see on this side my grid is really nice uh, again i have some nice neat parts there so yeah, I love my grid. Like I always say, my grid is not perfect, but it is beautiful because I created my grid. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to um, enter yourself into the giveaway if you would like some amazing products from Voice of Hair. And until next time, bye.